So we will stand up all together, raise our eyes up to the sky with faith and love in our hearts. And we will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give what we've been given. Hello, my fellow Latter Day Saints. Welcome to part two of how WWE should have booked WrestleMania 34. Part one on the left, part two, go. So, let's see, what should I do next? Um, SmackDown Tag Team Championships. It's difficult to it's difficult to see how I would actually redo this one. Um. Uh, Bludgeon Brothers. Um, I mean, the Bludgeon Brothers interfered at Fast. Um, was it Fastlane? Yeah, it was Fastlane. The Bludgeon Brothers interfered at Fastlane, and boom, there we go. Um, but say, but what made no sense is why the Bludgeon Brothers interfered in the match anyway. But fair enough, I wouldn't really change the outcome. But I would have the match go at least a bit longer than five minutes. Okay, so there we go. Well, I would, I would still have the Bludgeon Brothers come out on top, but personally, I would have had the I would have the New Day take the pin. But so like I said, I would have that go at least ten minutes because pretty much, Bloomin' damn well deserves to be longer than five minutes. Right. And now. I was a bit surprised about this next one because, ah, it's the Undertaker match. This is going to be interesting to see how I go about this one. Um, the build up to the match was really, really good, but 2 minutes 45? I would have them go back and forth. And from there, still have Undertaker come out on top. But the uh, but the but the time but the time the match went on two minutes forty five seconds. I would I would take half of that and add it on to the end of uh, the ten minute match between them and just have Undertaker just destroy John Cena and then at the end leap leaping Tombstone reminiscent of. Taker Michaels at WrestleMania 26. I would have that and then one, two, three, Taker comes out on top. And just to be clear, John Cena does not hit his attitude adjustment on Undertaker. Because, you know, Taker's getting old and everything else. <laughs> Next up. Daniel Bryan, Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. Wouldn't change a thing about this match. Wouldn't change a thing. Keep that the same. Boom. Sorted. Next up, Raw Tag Team Titles. Now, good, I mean, fair enough. Braun Strowman coming out on top. But having a 10 year old fan. I mean, I mean, I mean, at the time it was a cool moment, but. Booking wise, did that really make any sense? To me, no, it didn't. So, on that, 
I would have... Yep. And he's only got one question to ask you. Who wants to walk with Elias? Who wants to walk with Elias? Strowman and Elias. Was Elias in the, uh... Nope. Elias wasn't even... Elias wasn't even on the card. I mean, I mean, he did cause problems for John Cena, but... I would have had him be Strowman's tag team partner instead of Nicholas. So... Strowman gets a tag team title. And Elias gets one as well. But four minutes... Mind you, it is Braun Strowman we're talking about here. The bar are much are worth much more than four minutes. Right, then. So we've got SmackDown Women's Title, the WWE Championship. And the Universal Championship to deal with now. So that's, uh, check, check, check. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, three matches to go. Here we go. Now, let's see. The Women's, the SmackDown Women's Championship. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Um, Charlotte Fair and Asuka. Um, first off, I wouldn't have Asuka lose. Because, I mean, Charlotte got her into the figure eight. And she just gave up like that. I would have Asuka come out on top. Making Charlotte Flair not tap out. I would have her pass out. Shades of ba Bailey passing out at TakeOver Dallas back in 2016. Because ending Asuka's undefeated streak. No. And then, just for good measure, have Carmella cash in her Money in the Bank contract. And from there, have Asuka make her tap out. So there we go. Two matches left. And what I would do here is, number one, not have the Universal Championship as the main event. Because that's four years running, Roman Reigns has been the main event. Because, because Vince sees Roman as the next John Cena. Wrong! The real next John Cena is Daniel Brian. So, I mean, and I'm sorry. It was like, well, how many spears? Right, here we go. Let's see. 
Three Superman punches, two spears. I mean, I'm sorry. Four spears, three Superman punches, six F5s, and three German suplexes. Lesnar, do something that isn't a German suplex. Absolute joke. So, here we go. The only thing I would change here is no German suplexes, no multiple finishes, just one F5 or one spear, and that's it. Roman Reigns is not Superman Vince. Give up! The experiment is dead. It's over. Face reality, Vince. No one likes Roman Reigns. You tried getting him over by bringing back the shield way too early. And you failed. Stop trying to get... Roman Reigns over. It's not going to work anymore. I mean, the crowd blew him out of the building. Is that not a sign that you must and will turn him heel. I honestly have no words at this point. I would have Reigns go over, but not in the main event because I'm not having him being booed out of the building. What I would do, though, ooh, oh, that would be good. I would have him low blow Lesnar, kick him in the face, toss him out the ring, low blow Heyman, kick him in the face, and just throw him out of the ring as well. Like, throw him over the top rope. Just... Boom! See ya, bye! Get out of here! And then, just leave them there. Reigns goes through the back. Rain camera cuts to backstage. And just knocks out Vince. And says... I would, I would have Roman Reigns shoot at this point. And, and basically have him say, I no longer work for you. And then, after that, have him go back out, microphone in hand, and say, I do this for myself. And then have him respond to the booze and say, I don't care what any of you think. I'm the top, I'm the big dog, and this is my yard. Gong. Blackout. Undertaker in the ring. 
tombstone him. Tombstone reigns. Lights go out. Lights come back up. Hat and robe next to Rain's corpse. Now, the WWE Championship match. This should have been the main event. The build-up to this match was, a, was very disappointing, and the match itself was pretty disappointing as well. So, what would I do here? Hmm... What would I do here? Well, have them make callbacks to their days in New Japan. But at the same time, But at the same time, have them show respect towards each other. And I would have this match go at least 30 minutes. And from there... Have the match go 30 minutes, but I would have it go, I would go full speed, high pace, intense action, strong style, make the match, just let them off, let them off the leash and let them do what they did in New Japan. But in, is it? And a couple of th couple of things, a couple of things I would change of this match. First off, don't turn Nakamura heel. But have him win the title. Styles goes for a Styles clash. One, two, Nakamura kicks out. Styles tries phenomenal forearm. One, two, Nakamura kicks out. And then, 30 minute mark, Nakamura's like, Cannon! And then, has Styles in position, and then, Kinshasa! Put a bit more emphasis on the Kinshasa, please, Corey Graves! I mean, recently he's just been going, Kinshasa! What you're supposed to do is change yourself! One, two, three. Nakamura is your new WWE Champion. And have AJ Styles take the title from the referee and hand the title over to Nakamura Personally, they both shake hands, share a hug, hands in the air, end of the show. And that's how I would have booked WrestleMania 34. I took, I took that idea from what culture? So I hope those guys appreciate it. I'll send them a link to how the, to how I would have booked it and see if them see if they like it. And if you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the notification squad, the Latter Day Saints notification squad to be exact, so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Part one, part one here, and I think I may need to do another playlist here. For how WWE should, for my how, for my WWE fantasy booking. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys again very soon. Uh, reaction day tomorrow. Um, 
And there's uh, there's actually there's a new trailer for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So I'll be reacting to that. So, in the meantime, I'll see you guys again very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. And stay faithful.